Hi everyone. As the title of the video says, I'm going to attempt to make a tool holder for my jewelry tools. I saw something similar being made for uh, other items. I don't remember what it was on another lady's channel. Uh, she makes everything from the dollar store. And that's how I found out about these pegboards. If you're in the US, Dollar Tree recently launched these uh, by Jot, these pegboards. And I think they're fabulous because they launched it with everything you need to create an organizational system. I have several on my wall right now with some pegs uh, where I hang a ton of my beads, which I love because now I can actually see my beads and know what I have and you know be able to use them and not just store them away like a squirrel in um in the fall <laughs> so I purchased four of these lengthwise there's some square large squares and then there's some little squares and then there's these rectangular ones so I'm going to attempt to make a little tower out of these rectangular ones hopefully I'm able to get this all in camera and uh, the reason why I was desperate to make this is because I need to show you guys what I currently have going on here. This. <laughs> Look at this mess. And it's even getting tangled with stuff. I have a bunch of tools and that's not even counting my, you know, my regular tools. I have a bunch of tools. I did get one of these, these, um, I think it's a resin or a plastic holder, but I have obviously outgrown it. <laughs> I'm hoping to make a little tower that will hold my, that will hold any extra tools. Like I said, and I enjoy making these on video because if it helps you with your jewelry making, then I'm more than happy to film this video. All right, enough talking. Let's get into it. So like I said, I find, found these at the Dollar Tree. Hopefully you're local within the U.S. I don't know if in Europe or in other parts of the world they have something like this. Let me know. Unfortunately, I, you know, if you don't, then this video might not be for you, which I'm bummed. But or maybe you can find something similar. So these are now $1.25 at the Dollar Tree. So I bought four and then I bought these hanging uh, loop hooks that I I'm going to use, try to use instead of the like the little pegboards, you know, like not the pegboard, but like there's sticking out the little hooks. So I'm just going to take these out of the bag. All right. So I'm going to put these to the side and first we're going to put together this so i'm just going to glue with some what do you call it some hot glue so i have a hot glue gun and i was thinking of doing that you could probably also put some zip ties if you want to make it even sturdier and i've got my glue gun please be careful with your glue gun i got third degree burns the other day i was literally afraid of my glue gun for a while and of course you need some glue sticks. These glue guns are super cheap at Walmart or your local craft store. You can find them super cheap. It's okay, so I'm gonna put extra, extra stuff here. Let's see if this will. All right, before it dries, I'm gonna put this and then kind of squish this in there. There we go. So hopefully that will stay. Well, I'm just going to add some more here to give it a bit more kind of like a, like if you would do a, what do you call it? A tile, <laughs> some grout. Just kind of make sure that it's nice and firm. I mean, I'm not going, to be honest, I'm not going for looks here. Add some more. So I don't care if there's a ton of glue on here. I just want to be able to make sure that it stays, you know? And kind of hold that down for a little bit. All right, there. And the other side is gonna dry, but that's okay. You know, it's actually, I'm feeling this side over here and this, this side over here and it's pretty pretty stable and again put some more in there extra glue kind of flip this over 
like this. And here. All right, let's see. Let's put this on here quick. Okay. And there. Did I get that right? Nope. I need to move it a little bit. At least I still have a little wiggle room, so that's good. All right. So now I got both sides here, which I think are going to hold up really well. Glad my vision turned out. I'm always looking for new ways to uh, inexpensively uh, get my tools and everything I need. You know, like storage space, all that kind of stuff. And I'm excited to share it with you guys, too. So far, so good. It's up. There we go. And now, what we would need to do is take is take these hooks and put them in here. Now we've got the hooks there, and let's see. Da 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 da. Let's see if I can. How would these go though? Like that, or like so. I think it will hold. You guys can, you know, check it out. See? I'm super excited about this. And you could still, if you wanted to, you could still, uh, and I still might do that, you know, put some zip ties here just for security purposes. You could spray paint it. You can hide this goopy stuff here in the corners with something if you wanted to. Oh my gosh, I'm super excited. There it is, you guys. Uh, uh, Dollar Tree tool holder. So it was $1.25 for each, and then each package of four is $1.25. So we have to make this tool holder is uh, will be $7.50 total if you just buy two packages of hooks. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't seen my beadboard video, I will leave it here for you guys to watch next if you want to make your own beadboard. And for now, you know, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell, hit the like button before you leave. And I will see you over at the beadboard tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye.